all right i think we are recording now <clears throat> so um hello everyone and good morning good afternoon um so <clears throat> we've met after one month i believe uh, because we did not have a lot of um, meetings during the month of september owing to my unavailability um thank you for bearing with that um but um, i do have some updates um Zhao and I met in person finally at a <laughs> Open Source Summit in Vienna. Um, and we had a um, you know, great uh, conversation there. Um, uh, also met with other chaos folks there. So I have some takeaways. Uh, and uh, we'll be discussing them through the call. And obviously, if there are any um sort of uh things that you want to chip in with, um, in terms of like. Uh, suggestions or questions, please feel free um, to, you know, uh, unmute yourself and, uh, you know, talk. That's not a problem. So uh, I'm going to start uh, sharing my screen. Um, is anybody volunteering to be the note taker this time around? Uh, the reason is if I am taking the notes, I'm not going to be able to uh, talk. Um, and most of my uh, talking is going to be gibberish. So is, is it possible for someone to take notes? Most of it is already there. Um, Y'all just need to fill in the gaps if um, anything additional is said. Uh, yeah, I, I, can, I can do that. All right. So I'm going to hit share. Uh, at this point, I cannot find my tab. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen. All right. Uh, hopefully, everyone can see my screen. Um, so like I said, uh, we have, uh, we have some agenda items, um, and, uh, essentially most of them are, uh, carried over from the previous uh, meeting that we had on August, uh, 22nd. First is, um, uh, as I mentioned during that call, um, uh, the, I, I had an, uh, I had a plan to create a focus group for outreach as, well as for uh, disabled folks uh, to participate. And they are two separate groups, by the way. So <laughs> creation of a focus group for outreach, uh, because I don't think I'm doing a, a great job um, of do going it going at it by myself. So um, there is a tracking issue open up for that. And if you can sort of contribute um for if you want to contribute please nominate yourself on the issue all right so that's the first thing we do not have nominations for that yet and unfortunately um uh you know nobody has actually volunteered um manul and i were having talks about this but uh um, he still has some questions that I probably need to clarify, but uh, he's the only person who's actually shown some interest. So if there are anybody or if you know of someone who would be interested in contributing in this aspect, um, please, please, um, you know, let me know uh, or have them nominate um, themselves on the issue. Yeah. I just commented yeah, yeah, on just... this issue. Um, sorry. Sorry, Leon. Thank you. Is anyone talking? There you go. Yeah, I was uh, just saying that I just I, I just commented in this issue and some self nominate myself mm -hmm. several minutes before this meeting started because I was go through the meeting minutes and um uh it's fine. and uh, yes I can I can help I can help with this to see what I can do and um 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 yes yeah, um just just um jumping to say that i commented in this issue and um um can help with this thank you um, thank you yeah, so much thanks yeah. oh hi sandy how are you going i was going to say that um there might be so i i'm kind of from the rse australia new zealand uh, side of thing, research software engineering. Um, but also I work pretty closely with RSC Asia. And I get the impression that if we joined for, if we reached out to partnerships, it might be a bit easier if we were doing outreach because Asia is a really big place. 
just yep. really, really big. And I was just actually thinking that we need to have, you know, maybe bring people together and say, well, you know, can we co co market things? Oh, sorry about that. I don't. Oh, yeah, it might be in Spanish. Um, um, I, I, I could understand you pretty fine. So I don't think you were speaking in Spanish. Maybe it just gets translated into Spanish. For some that's reason, correct. But... I'm trying yeah. to find that now. Hang on. Let me try that. Is that better now? see it because i'm sharing my screen but maybe uh one of the others who are actually looking at yeah. it um can comment because i am not able to see any uh you know transcription come up for me oh, yeah i, I think... think he might you i think i don't see english i don't see anything in spanish but zoom is a bit confusing you'll have to Either go into the more section or something like that. See the caption. I think Sandy, I think Sandy said it was okay now. I changed it on mine, so hopefully it changes on yours, Sandy. So yeah, I was just thinking, just reaching out, and this sort of ties back into that idea around, you know, all the different things. And and my my point is here is like research software sort of crosses over. If it was a Venn diagram, there's like research software engineering and RC Asia, chaos and open source, and, you know, even bioinformatics in Asia, they all kind of, they kind of, you know, cross over at some point. And instead of us trying to do the heavy lifting, maybe we can try and find ways of being able to co-market or co-outreach. I don't know. I don't think that's a word, but you know what I mean? Um, I am open to that idea, uh, but I also want to hear other people's takes on this uh, because this is definitely not a one woman, one man show. So does anybody else have any opinions on this? Because I think it would be worthwhile to have um, partnerships across the board. And since, you know, both of us have like an intersect intersecting subset of um, open source communities and projects uh, and health sort of to uh, deal with, I think it would be a worthwhile idea. Uh, Zhao, Leon, Sandeep, any one of y'all have any other thoughts on this, please? Uh, this is for the focus group, right? Yep. Uh, it's also for the focus group, but also in a wider context. Uh, in my opinion, Ronan, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but I think we are talking about a wider partnership here as well. It's not just limited to the focus group, or is it just limited to the focus group, or have we got the scope entirely wrong? Uh, this is for the outreach. Same. Yeah. So outreach. Yeah, but. Is it just limited to the, like, I know that focus group for outreach is uh, one of the things, but is it like limited to justice or do you like want to like co-amplify for events and stuff and everything else? Like, is that, is that the plan or have I got it wrong? Yeah, I, I, I think it's just one of those uh, things where, you know, it may be just uh co-amplifying or at least knowing what's out there just in the last six months i found out there was pycon apac pycon india pycon malaysia pycon insert other country name here <laughs> right there's just a lot that i never knew existed like i never knew existed and i just thought that you know it's it's a, a, almost a a base for us to work around. I don't have any time to be able to put into any of this, really. I may not be doing RSE Asia Australia next year in a, in the capacity I did this year um, just because of time commitments. So I'm just sort of thinking how can I help delegate or think about doing these things. So even, uh, our, for example, RSE Asia, and RSSE Africa are doing some joint um, presentations together um, okay. just because it's just easier to have 
to get volunteers when you've got multiple groups sort of coming over to, and having that overlap. So, and I don't know if you saw, maybe you don't see this in your communities, but I've, I did a poll once in, on Mastodon asking people, you know, have your communities grown, shrunk, or stayed the same in terms of engagement over the last three years? And 75% of them said the engagement has shrunk. Um, and in Australia, I was reading a, a few things where because of cost of living and other things, uh, people have less time to volunteer as well. A lot of people um, are taking two or even three jobs to handle the cost of living crisis. Um, that's relative here in Australia. And so there's less people volunteering, for example. So that's why I was sort of thinking, you know, it might be, Divya, I think you've actually done a great job to have this many people come along, right? Because the the volunteering uh, thing is actually really, really tough. So um, I was just sort of thinking like main, you know, long-term sustainability, uh, maybe partnerships are something that we might want to, to think about. Because I'm here more like a throw ideas out and see if anyone, if they make sense. So I can't really do much in terms of driving things. I'm happy to, uh, you know, talk partnerships, but we'll also need someone facilitating those from both sides, like at least one person, like in the middle. Um, so if you can like get the initial conversation going, uh, again, this is my opinion. Um, if you can get the initial conversations going, it would be very helpful for those who are volunteering to be part of this outreach focus group to sort of build that bridge because, um, uh, I understand that you might not have the time and I understand that, uh, you know, uh, this might not be something that you can invest time into given your other commitments, but um, there needs to be like at least a bridge or some sort of connector built between the two, um, like maybe an introduction to the social media team or the team that handles it. I know uh, for um, Australia, you sort of handle a lot of it right now. Uh, but if there's something that, um, and for APAC, I know that somebody, I don't know who handles it, but at least they know that we exist. But um, like ha having an introduction facilitated, if that's something that you could do, that would be very helpful. Doesn't need to involve me, can only involve the focus group members as well. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Um, again, no, that's uh, a fair comment. And there was two things that popped into my head is um, one of the co-founders of RSC Asia, who was also the co-chair of RSC Asia Australia, went to PyCon India um, oh, last okay. week or the week before that. So that's, that's that could be a potential starting point. And one of the keynotes used to was a keynote at RSC Asia Australia a couple of years ago as well. Okay. So there's a few touch okay. points there. Um, and also... The other thing would be maybe even, um, uh, you know, if there's if there's something there or if someone wants to reach out, I wonder if there's a, I wonder if PyCon APAC has some sort of loose communication system with all the other PyCons uh, in, in Asia, in the Asia Pacific, because if they do, then they, they might have a, like a, a mailing list that, that they help to co-amplify things, or maybe they just use LinkedIn. That might be interesting to know if we know of anyone around that side of things. Um, I personally don't, but I do think Leon does know about uh, some of uh, the PyCon-related folks because I know, um, or or somebody in the wider, uh, you know, Asian community. Because I remember he was talking to me about uh, PyCon or some other conference. Uh, Leon, do you want to chip in? Uh, I, I think I know one person who went to PyCon India. Or who was the organizer? I can ask them. But not PyCon APA. Uh, that one, that was I think in me. I don't even know where that was. But uh, yeah, I don't know anyone from there. But from the India one, I do know. Other people. Okay. I mean, if if there's a bridge we can build there, we should consider building it because it does help. Um. So yeah, I mean, 
uh, if anybody else again has any other inputs please feel free to chime in uh, the only reason i picked on leon is because i remember having this conversation with him for um first united's uh, event which happened recently and we were talking about this and that's where this conversation came up for more context but if we know anyone else from PyCon APAC or PyCon, uh, you know, in the APAC region specific to one country, please, please do feel free to comment. And if it helps, um, uh, like if, if everyone's interested in outreach, if you are interested in outreach, like Jao did, please um, end up, you know, nominating yourself. It would really help us to sort of co-amplify and co-market, uh, if that's a term. Um, and, you know, potentially also be able to evangelize and talk about uh, Chaos Asia at those conferences as well. I'm going to pause for a bit and see if there are other thoughts. Uh, Divya? Yes? I think, uh, I think Nabarun Pal is pretty active in the PyCon India chapter. Is he? I did not know that. I didn't really not know that. I can speak to him. Or if you want to take up that action item, Sandeep, I'm more than happy for you to have that conversation because I know you all work together a lot. Yes, sure. Okay, I'll talk to him today and let you know. All right. Um. So, yeah, that's that's around the outreach thing. Um. And in the interest of time, I do want to go to the next uh, topic, but uh, just going to pause here for one minute to see if anybody else has any other uh, suggestions or inputs. All right. So um, if you you all do, happy to discuss it async as well on the channel. Uh, so please don't feel like these meetings are the only place where you can start a discussion. We have the channel there to continue these discussions as well. So if you all feel like you all have any questions or concerns or suggestions, that's also an appropriate space. And of course, nominations are on the issue itself. Um, next up, we have um, the creation of the focus group for disabled folks. Um, this is across Asia again. Uh, and Sandeep, kindly has nominated himself to help with this. Um, I actually left the issue open uh, to see if anybody had any uh, concerns or suggestions or anything else um, around this. Otherwise, we um, are going to sort of like uh, have Sandeep lead us uh, with this effort, lead this effort on our behalf and like um, help us move this forward. And I can chip in from time to time, but usually it'll be in the sort of meeting format just because I'm 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 really struggling. Otherwise this would be the one where I'd like to help the most. Absolutely, not a problem. Um I understand like time constraints can play um uh, uh, you know very significant role in uh, not allowing you to contribute to um any uh, open source stuff but that's fine that's not a problem at all um again uh this is uh something i'm gonna formalize or think about like how we can formalize this and i'll um potentially add this in like a md file and have like a leads document prepared but uh those are my next steps and it's on me to do that um I will be sharing that on the channel as we go through the process. So that's that's the update on that one. Um, next one is more of a request, maybe rather than a um, you know, update. Okay, um, Sandeep has raised his hand. Um, I'm just gonna pause there. Yes, Sandeep. Uh, thank you, Divya. I think uh, uh, I think. The Africa Africa Working Group is doing some wonderful work in the space of disability. So, so I think I need to attend a couple of the meetings to understand what the work they are doing. Oh, 
Okay, sure. Um, not a problem. I can facilitate that conversation with Ruth, and um, uh, like I did for uh Roland, I can facilitate the conversation with Ruth and the uh disability working group lead there. Um, so y'all can potentially collaborate and um uh, see how it works out again. But this is about forming bridges and seeing if um we have any commonalities um in terms of organizing and in terms of the target audience um so i will uh definitely make that introduction on my part so that's another action item in addition to you know formalizing your uh, lead role within the focus group uh does that help thank you yes exactly that's exactly what i was looking for thank you no problem. Um, so moving on to the next, um, this is more of a request, uh, maybe not as much of an update or an agenda item. So the Chaos Community Survey is uh, right now live and uh, it focuses on uh, DEI stuff. So if there is, if and you know, contributing to chaos and stuff like that. So if there's interest in this group to fill out that, um, I would request that you do because it helps with, um, you know, bettering the experience uh, uh, from a contributor perspective. So uh, that's that's a request. It's not necessarily a mandate, but it's just a request if that's possible from your side. So uh, any questions or concerns around that before we move on? Rotical survey. And um, uh, I, I will see um, the channels um, uh, that is um, the channels in the China, the channels in China, I can see how I can help with distribute the survey. Thank you so much. Uh, that would be really, really helpful. So I'm gonna move on to the next one um, now. I don't know if you've been tuned into the general channel or, or the university channel, but um, there's a new working group that was formed um, to focus on, um, uh, you know, chaos metrics in the context of uh, the UN Sustainable Development Goals. And uh, this was uh, sort of created after the... OSPOS for Good um, conference slash event that happened in July in New York. Uh, I was not a part of it. Um, it was Ruth, um, Michael, uh, David, and a bunch of others who were there at the conference. And this working group came up because um, uh, sustainable development goals um, in the context of open source and uh, you know how to measure them that that's that was really uh, unclear how to how to facilitate that conversation which is why uh since we've already got a um, library of metrics and metric models uh, this was something that came up as a, a thought experiment to see if you could use the existing metrics or metric models or create new ones to talk about um uh, uh, you know, open source in the context of UN SDGs. So um, this, the very first meeting happened yesterday at uh, 8.30 p.m. IST. And uh, <clears throat> there were a bunch of um, people from the uh, European and North American side of things. Um, and I appreciate that this is not a very uh, conducive time for a lot of us, uh, but... I ended up attending because one of the things that we are closely, um, you know, monitoring is uh, the DPI, DPG space um, in India specifically, because I do not have access to, you know, the other uh, Asian countries. So um, this is one of the things that we're doing right now. Uh, and um, in fact, one of the people who, um, uh, I've been working with closely in this space is the code for Gautech um, um, 
and the, uh, under the Samagra Foundation, the team that leads that program. Uh, so I had invited them on the call and uh, we had a very fruitful discussion. So you can check out the, um, you know, channel. And if it's uh, suitable for you, uh, you can consider attending. But if not, if there are any uh, things you'd like me to convey, if there are any uh uh, you know, discussion items that you want brought up uh, after reading through the agenda items uh, on the doc, uh, please do let me know. I'm happy to convey them um, and, you know, give due credit uh, to you as in um, when, you know, the point is brought up. Uh, so I'm going to pause there and see if there are questions. I, I don't see the the meeting for this working group on the chaos calendar uh well is is it a no be there meeting? yeah yeah it should it should be there um just let me give you the invite um i'm gonna pause sharing for a bit and give you the meeting invite um so that just a second um because that uh that working group, uh, in that working group, there is a ICS uh, thing. Oh, there's an I, ICS yes, calendar I've invite. Just... So I'm yes, just it's an ICS it. can. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. I I'll also paste it in chat for those who are interested in joining. But again, like I said, I appreciate that this might not be something. Uh, everybody can or would want to join given the fact that it's extremely late in the night uh, for even me because it's 8 30 p.m so yeah it's 11 p.m for me <laughs> yeah so um that's the reason why i said so yeah here yes, you go I, so I this see... is the ics calendar okay. okay yeah i saw it so it's also a bi-weekly meeting happened every yes. uh, Wednesday night uh, for, for, for my, yes. Yes, and it'll be right before okay. this meeting. Like the meeting for Chaos Asia will succeed the meeting uh, for UNSDG. So you can kind of remember it that way, I guess. Okay, so assuming, uh, are there any more questions? All right, so given that I've seen two thumbs up and uh, there's nothing from Leon and Xiao, I assume, uh, I'm going on to the next agenda item, which is the event and project badging. Uh, this uh, initiative slash working group within chaos, wherein we um, review um, events and uh, projects um, against our DEI guidelines and see if... Uh, they, uh, uh, you know, see where they rank uh, based on the information provided by the event organizers. So uh, you really don't need to know anything about the chaos or chaos project or the metrics, though it's really helpful if you do. Um, but uh, you will need a GitHub account um, uh, since everything is um, sort of done on GitHub in terms of the reviewing. And uh, the person who submits the information uh, regarding the event or the project will um, be submitting the information via a form. Um, and there will be like the information that uh, gets um, posted as an uh, issue on GitHub. You just have to review the information um after that uh, see which of the information that's provided by them is incorrect if you have questions you clarify them via the comment section and uh after that there is uh the process of uh, you know granting the badge based on you know the checklist that uh, you've ticked off um so there is a whole process that you will be uh guided through um in terms of badger orientation 
So this, what I just said is like the brief of what I learned in the Badger orientation. I also uh, just reviewed one, uh, you know, GitHub thing, uh, one GitHub uh, event yesterday. Not It was not a GitHub event, like an event reported on GitHub yesterday. So uh, uh, the time commitment is not even actually 15 to 20 minutes. It's pretty straightforward uh, since a lot of the events that come through, they have like uh, precise answers for everything. So it's not 15 to 20 minutes. It's at the max 10 minutes for me, uh, but it could vary. I'm not saying that it's it's like a standard. It could vary. And if you're interested, um. Elizabeth, uh, who is the community manager for Chaos, would be happy to sort of like uh, provide you with uh, like the orientation. And it's not necessary that you sign up at that instant. You can go through the orientation process and see if that is something you can take on. And if that time commitment is something you're willing to uh, sort of invest uh, when going through the process. Uh, so if anyone's interested, you can let me know and I can connect you with Elizabeth. That's the TLDR of what I've been rambling about for the past five minutes. And I'm going to stop there and see if any one of you has any questions. Uh, Divya, I would be interested. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, I, I really have no idea. To... <laughs> yeah. That is fine. Uh, so neither did I when I started. Um, and this was before I think I uh, took over Chaos Asia. So um, I didn't have any idea either. And this is a very interesting space because you um, get to review and uh, stack up uh, events and projects against uh, the DEI guidelines that we've laid down. And uh, you get to do like information is normally all provided. You just need to see if, you know, those match up to what is expected. Um, so I will connect you to uh, Elizabeth and if anybody else wants to uh, be a part of this, please uh, let me know. Yeah, uh, me too. I can also. Okay, so I'll communicate your names uh, to Elizabeth and start a group chat so that you all have the orientation uh, that I got. <laughs> um, so yeah. That's pretty much it with respect to the um, GitHub, not GitHub badging, event and project badging. And now I'm going to the collaboration opportunities. Wow, this agenda is long. I lied when I said that it was short. Um, so um, uh, this, this I actually posted about, so I'm going to uh, speed through this a lot more faster than the previous one. So... Um, the code for GarTech people, which I was talking about earlier on, um, they've invited me to be a part of the DPG Dialogues, which is coming up next week um, in Delhi. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, community building in open source and in DPG, DPI sectors um, and seeing how they're similar or different. Uh, and there's going to be a panel discussion around that. So um, that's that's one of the things that I'm doing. Uh also, after that, I'll be going to Gitex uh, Dubai. I don't think um, there's a yeah, there's potential for a lot of collaboration there, but I'll see if there is uh, uh, um, something we can find to collaborate on or whatever. Um, and last but not the least, I see that uh, Ja has entered something. Um, I'll let her take the floor to speak about it. Uh, yes, uh, this is uh, just the initial sort of things. I, 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 I see the value of uh, added this uh, collaboration opportunities. And I'm thinking that uh, there, uh, you, you, you know, Nadia, uh, she will yeah, be yeah. organizing this, yes, this conference, which is Chi China Open Source Conference. And this is uh, uh, the 11th, I think it's the 10th or 9th. Uh, I'm not sure of this conference, but um, but the, the, the official website just broke out just just break the link just break so i can share the link for now but this event will happen in beijing in november uh it's november 2 2 2 3 and uh, i'm thinking of maybe we can um uh, or or uh, organize uh, like things like birds of Fe feather session or on conference session like what what we what, what it happened on the open source summit europe uh, so 
uh, this is just the idea I came up uh, go through this um meeting minutes and uh, um if um like um Divya or others who are interested in participate in this um in this um conference or uh, what would like to submit a talk I will share the information later um once the website is fixed. So I'm I'm very excited that you came up with this and I think that's a very good idea. Uh, personally, I might not be able to travel because I have um a travel the same week to um I have to travel the same week to US. So there might be a lot of uh conflict in me traveling, but um uh, I'm open to you know anyone else if they can meet up and go there or um, if you want any resources from my side or uh, you already pretty much know everything that goes on here but if there's any virtual help that I can extend I'm happy to provide that but I won't be able to make it in person this year just because of the tight timelines um, that I'm supposed to be working with otherwise I'm really happy to extend any help in writing up an abstract um, or, you know, preparing any material that you might need, happy to help in that regard. Uh, I would have made it for this if it was after 17th or something like that, because I'll be in, uh, I'll be in Shenzhen. Uh, but yeah, I also won't be. I, I could have submitted something like that. So, I mean, Zhao, if um, just to sum it up, I uh, think that if if you're willing to like host the unconference session, I can provide you the materials, but I do not know if, you know, you have the uh, bandwidth to do it that's that's one thing so there's no obligation on you to do it but if you can that would be great I can support you in whatever way that you want me to like if you want me to like help you with the abstract or if you want to you know soundboard ideas of what the BOF or unconference session should be I can give you like a list of ideas that we can go through or uh, we can discuss that async on uh, slack in the yeah. channel itself uh, but I don't know your yes. appetite for, you know, hosting it. That's another thing. So I don't want to, for, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm coming off as forceful. Uh, so that's not the case. If you are, um, you know, if you have the bandwidth and if you uh, do want to uh, sort of help with this, I'm happy to do it. Roland, yes, please. Uh, same, same thing. So we did the RSE Asia Australia, which was basically a non-conference over three days. And we've done a couple of boffs as well. So if you wanted to bounce ideas around, just let me know. Yeah, sure. Any anything, any input would be would be super helpful. So I think we can keep the discussion go async on the on Slack. Right. Um, so that's that. Um and it's a great point that you brought up in terms of CosCon, because I think one of the points that I make in the next opportunities section is the same thing uh the reason is i'm not really very well updated so to say uh with all the conferences that ha happen in asia um and if or like even in the world let's let's be frank so um so one of the things that i was talking thinking about is like if there's a specific list of uh, conferences or events that we want to submit to or you know host unconference and box at uh next year around um this uh like it would be good to start off that initiative um in terms of like making that list of conferences and having it somewhere here um so that we can see who wants to submit where and who wants to travel where and who's able to go where um and talk about these because everybody is not going to be going to all the places and it's obviously not a thing so um yeah rolling yeah i i like that idea a lot and like for example i can't i can't travel at all pretty much so i'm i'm happy to to contribute for for evangelizing things 
And just tying back into the previous discussion we had, imagine if you had um, a buff to raise the awareness of other countries and other communities that are sort of tied together. So I could see that, you know, we might have one that says, hey, we'd love to highlight RC Asia Australia if it goes ahead next year. Um, that ties in with, you know, some of the work that Chaos Asia is doing. Maybe the biohackathon people are interested as well and just sort of like make it so that you can raise awareness. Like you say, not everyone knows what other conferences are out there. Exactly. And then maybe there's an opportunity to raise awareness jointly across other conferences and see how things go. And for that, we need to know which conferences exist. So like having like a list of conferences where we would want to do that, or even like co-marketing, co-amplifying efforts, if I think like having a issue or a file or something created, it would be really helpful so that we can plan out for next year. Because um, I I've spoken with the chaos folks um, regarding like funding. Uh, we're not going to get a lot, uh, but we might get some. So it would help me allocate those funds as well uh, once, like, uh, we receive them. So it will be on a, like, needs basis. Uh, it's not going to be a lot, like I said, <laughs> and it might not cover all of the travel, uh, but we might get some funding. Um, And that's something I, I plan to sort of, like, allocate across things. And uh, that's why I want like focus areas where we should be directing our efforts to, right? Like I have, even if I have like minimal funds, if we can like uh, have some of you go to like even local conferences to evangelize stuff, that would be really helpful. Um. So yeah, yes, Ron. I'll just wait till if there's anyone else want to say something. Okay, um, so what I've done in the past um, that's been quite useful is to create some uh, strategic selection criteria. So, and in this case, it wouldn't be strategic. I think it would just be selection criteria. Well, it's sort of tied in to that. It's like, you know, what what would be the selection criteria to that if a conference or an event met all this criteria, they would have a higher priority than ones that didn't. And then that could get a little bit tricky if you're trying to do it in a joint way. So let's say, you know, raising, generally raising aware, awareness of other communities or conferences in Asia, then you would, you know, you'd have a maybe slightly different set of uh, selection criteria. So I was just sort of thinking that you might want to write that selection criteria in the same issues as the ones where we put the list in. I've got a list of all the PyCons. I'm pretty sure I've got a list somewhere. Um, okay. And so you can sort of use that as a way of being able to identify which ones are the ones that we really want to connect with. Sure. Um, I'll, I'll work on that. Uh, but this is just to like float the idea if we want to have a list in the first place because I would want to, given the fact that um, our outreach has not really been... Um, like streamlined given the fact that we just bootstrapped earlier this year it doesn't feel like that but we just bootstrapped earlier this year so um i think having a streamlined focus for what we want to do and which conferences we want to target would be really helpful um just like we are talking about collaboration opportunities um uh, we also should really be talking about how we want to approach those as well but that's a separate conversation so i will open up an issue uh for this tracking issue that's on me um and that's it actually for the agenda that is written on here um but i also wanted to share one more thing um because i realized uh, in September that this community meeting was hinging on my availability and I did not want for that to be the case. I wanted for everyone to be meeting up when all of y'all are available and if I'm not available, this meeting doesn't happen. So um, 
I kindly asked Zhao if she'd be able to, since she's already been the facilitator for so many Kyose Jha meetings, I asked her if she would be able to facilitate it um, on an alternating basis and she kindly agreed to um, help me with that. And thank you so much, Zhao, for that. Um, uh, it's, it's honestly, um, you know, just a case where if, like next next to next week again i'm not going to be there right and again this this whole cycle will repeat if i'm not there and if you're not i mean nobody's stepping up and it's fine that i understand that you know people might not be comfortable doing it and might not have the availability to do it but uh, if there is another designated person it really helps uh, bring the community together so thank you so much for stepping up um but that's 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 the length of my announcements uh anybody else have anything to share um or suggest or add in as an open discussion item i just want to say i i'm i and thank you so much divya for uh, like um asking for this and um i'm honored to take this uh, and um, but but I, I don't see myself as a good moderator as you. So um, I but 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 it is um, um, like it is is it's like to 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 make the community like um, wrong is is not a burden on that that is uh, that lie on one one person. So I think to distribute the work is also important. Um, so. Yes, I will try to take this role and um um make the community uh wrong. Absolutely okay, and uh, you're very kind in saying that I'm a great moderator. I I tend to ramble a lot, so it's fine. Uh, Indeed. everyone has their everyone has their own style. Uh, so it's completely fine. However, you run it, it's just the case that you know people should be there. Uh. Uh, and it should not hinge on my availability alone. Everyone should have a chance to attend and uh, talk. So that's pretty much my idea behind having more people. Uh, so I'm going to... Yes, Ronan, please. Just to clarify, um, online moderation, uh, you know, is pretty tough. And I agree um that uh, you're doing a uh, good work here so as someone who moderates a lot of as someone who moderates a lot of online meetings uh, i don't think you're doing anything uh, uh wrong i think you're doing well thank you that's very kind of you to say um and honestly it's just experience uh, and everyone will really gain if you know you try that's all i i can only say that and i'm very awkward with uh, you know being complimented so that's there but uh that's it i think uh from me uh anyone else have any other comments around uh, um or any suggestions or uh concerns otherwise i think we're already slightly over time so i want to give back the rest of your data and not hold you hostages on this call All right, then. Thank you, everyone, for joining today. Uh, Zhao will be hosting the next call, as already mentioned. Uh, so I might or might not be there because I will be in Dubai the next the next meeting. So this will be at 6.30 a.m. my time there. Might not be able to join. So if I am awake because of insomnia, I will definitely join you. Uh, otherwise... Uh, I will see you in November and Zhao will be the one hosting y'all the next time around. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank you. I'll see you next time, Zhao. See you. Bye. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.